Greetings, bringers of the new dawn. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, angels of the new earth. We are here, and we are awakening. Another day of massive waves coming in. For the last three days, I've been getting almost constant downloads and activations. I believe the theme for February is becoming the truth may be stranger than fiction. And you can't make this stuff up. This is it, brothers and sisters of the light. We are on the threshold of a new era of light, the dawning of the golden age. And we're feeling this many ways. There's many signs, symbols, synchronicities. A couple days ago, as I was receiving a download while in the shower, it felt as if the whole left hemisphere of my brain went totally numb. I'm sure some of you have been having this experience. I felt it within my skull, and it was just the left hemisphere as my consciousness went into the crystal palace in the center in the middle, the zero point of the brain. I felt the left hemisphere going into that numbness, the stillness, and it's symbolic of releasing, letting go of that which is rational. It's the rational, the logic, the linearity. It's like throwing all caution to the wind because there is no road map where we are heading, where we are at, where we are going. We are in uncharted territory. It's like we are not in Kansas anymore. We are not in the known. We are in between worlds, in between the old and the new, on the precipice, on the threshold, reaching critical mass of awakening. We'll start today's first transmission from James McConnell. Posted by lovehasone.org. Sananda, find that zero point within you. And that zero point is the total stillness, the kingdom of heaven within, the doorway, the connection to the void, to the pure awareness that is our true self. And it's a journey that we go on alone, fully conscious, fully aware within, the journey within, into the kingdom of heaven as we merge our waking conscious with the unconscious or inner conscious, the ocean of consciousness, or what is called cosmic consciousness, and it's that zero point that connects us to that ultimate cosmic consciousness, and we bring that through the rainbow bridge out into this realm to connect with all light workers, love workers, and way showers in this realm that are being activated in this now moment. Beginning transmission, Sananda, I am Sananda, and as always, I appreciate these times that I can be with you and communicate with you in these ways, for so much is in the process of change now. Many of you are feeling the energies, the wave of energies that are coming in, and they are coming in stronger and stronger, and in this day now, today, a major gateway has opened up that is allowing for many more of these energies to come through. And for all of you, the light workers and light warriors across the planet, to be able to take these energies in and continue to acclimate to them as they continue to work on your central nervous system. As many of you feel the symptoms of this because your central nervous system may n not quite be ready in some cases for these energies. Some of you, it is. But some are having difficulty with this. It may be in stomach pains, bodily pains, it can be in heart fluctuations, it can be in rather severe headaches at times. Energy is either expanding or contracting in those times. May, you may feel like you need to sleep for long periods of time. You may also feel energetic and like you can conquer the world in these moments. You may even begin to feel more of a blissful feeling coming over you. This again is acclimating you to these energies. On February 2nd, 2020, this alignment has not happened for many years. The last time being January 1st, 1010, and the next will be March 3rd, 3030. So these are auspicious times that are now in these moments. All of you are being prepared and are preparing for this ascension, for your own personal ascension, as well as the collective ascension of mankind. Because this is a collective venture, you have a saying, no man or woman is left behind, and that is the case here, for no one will be left behind that wants to continue on, that chooses to do so. Yes, there are definitely things that you can do, 
processes that you can take, tools that you can utilize to help you in this ascension process. But I tell you now, as Sananda, no one will be left behind that chooses to move on, for it is destined for all of you. All of you, the light warriors, the light workers, the way showers, the light bearers, all of you are destined that you shall move on, for these are your moments. This is your time. Time that you have been preparing for for many thousands of years and many, many lifetimes. These are the moments that will be arriving, are arriving now. You just simply need to sit back, watch the show, and look at it as a show, maybe even as a movie that is playing out right in front of you. When you watch a movie, you observe it. You are not actually a part of it. You are not one of the actors in the movie. But this particular movie, you are one of the actors. You are the actors. You are the directors. You are the fans. You are even the producer of this movie. While all of this is going on around you, be aware of it, but not involved in it. As some of you and many across the planet are beginning to become frightened about the so-called pandemic that is spreading, it is yet but another attempt or another ruse by those of the dark forces to both take attention away from something that they do not want you to attend to or to bring fear so that they can feed off this fear. And where many of those now that are seeking to flee from the light are going is where there is much fear happening now in these moments on your planet that is in the Asian area. But there is nothing to fear except fear itself. Accept the programming of fear, for if you remain within the eye of the storm, as the storm continues to rage around and rage around it, it shall still, not for much longer. For those that attempt to raise the storm are finding out that they do not have the power anymore to do so. And as they realize this more and more, the storm will diminish. And the storm then that is raised by the forces of light shall take over. You are that storm, each and every one of you. You are the storm that raises the light, raises the love, raises the consciousness across the planet. So continue to do so, every opportunity that you have, but you do so by remaining neutral in all situations. Find that neutral stance within you, that ne neutral state within you, because that, more than anything, my friends, is preparing you for your ascension. Find the neutral point, find the zero point within you and remain there as much and as often as you can and you will find then that the 3D matrix, the illusion of the 3D matrix will dissipate right in front of your eyes. I am Sananda and I leave you now in peace and love and oneness that you might continue on each every day and each and every moment. Find that neutral point within each of you. And this was from James McConnell. And we'll refine that transmission by saying, which I've said in the past, there is nothing to fear, not even fear itself. We're even transcending the fear of fear. We're resolving because now is all are being revealed in this revelation of the times that the fear itself is the illusion. It is the simulation. It is not real and it is temporary. There is a saying that only fear dies. And it's that false fear, that false state of being that rises out of the false self or the corruption of the pure awareness into that state of, we may see one of the three hells, the frightened animal, that we are resolving in these final days for all of humanity. And from here in the moon astrology, the entire world is at zero point. Wednesday, February 12, 2020. Wait without hope, but the faith and the love and the hope are all in the waiting. Wait without thought, for you are not ready for thought. So the darkness shall be the light, and the stillness the dancing. From T.S. Eliot, paradoxically, at the moment in time when the world is almost literally turning upside down, when the fires and floods in Australia and the epidemic in China are epical, when the planet's many cries for help are deafening, many of us sensitives are feeling adrift, high and dry, marooned in a weird sort of emotional flatlining, experiencing passages of standstill, stuckness, and or in-betweens. In the old days, pre-evolutionary burn and the timeline split, you would have used willpower to push the river, to make a difference, to do something, anything. You, have re you would have regarded action momentum as good and stillness as bad, but now you're 
you are learning to trust your unique cycle of create, manifest, withdraw, incubate. The entire world is at zero point, a state of liminality and in-between ecotone, and so is every single one of us. This is a time to rest and heal, taking the path of least resistance, and let whatever is emerging arrive in its own time. Let creative unfolding replace goals, plans, or linear thinking, whole engagement. Become indifferently engaged, passively dynamic. These ideas, this wisdom, and this knowing do not come from striving, analyzing, or willpower. They come from watching, waiting, listening, being curious, making space. The quieter, more available you are, the more obvious the solution or the next step. There is nothing you can do to speed up the arrival of the insights or ideas, and the harder you try, the more counterproductive. Remember, this entire week is in the seismic window of Sunday's full moon in Leo, and the Mercury retrograde trickster storm as Mercury at maximum impact stations to turn backwards on February 16th and 17th. The messenger is in Pisces, so just at the time we need truth, not disinformation, we walk into a hall of smoke and mirrors. Sometimes not doing is the right action, and standstill is the right place. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk, and this is the stillness in between the great storm. And from Pars Kute, the source energy waves that are coming in from the great central sun are to interact with our intuition in a way that will enhance our abilities to be clear about what action to take, how to move forward, how to implement and execute. Intense and beautiful energy upgrades where we now step out of our old selves and into the higher Adam Kadmon bodies and more strands of DNA activated with a much higher crystalline form. From Elizabeth Peru, perhaps you felt this. Yesterday a distinct global energy shift took place. It may have happened while you were asleep or while you were awake. We had a huge heart expansion. So you could have felt quiet. Tears could have rolled out of nowhere, or you may have a new appreciation for your life today. When these shifts take place, I get quietly excited because it means that we're all moving to the next cycle of our evolution, and that means the Earth will benefit. The theme of my energy forecasts the tip-off this week have been embracing the cosmic feminine in all of her power. If you're looking for positive results with anything right now, you have to be prepared to be clear about the outcome you desire and then direct the energy that way. It could feel like you're getting blocked by others when really all they are waiting for is up to you. From ElizabethPeru.com From the Zolkin Times Kin 215 Blue Resonant Eagle Resonant is the name for the number 7 and its key words are channel, attune, and inspire. We are now smack bang in the middle of the red moon wave spell with its agenda of going with the flow. Sounds so easy, but letting go and trusting that things will turn out for the best may be a hard thing to do. Today is about your intuition, so use it and you'll understand what is going on. Today is Blue Eagle, which represents creativity, mind, and vision. When you combine the intuitive number seven and the creative Blue Eagle, the result is the kind of day when good ideas just pop into your mind. This is a great combo for all artists and creative types. Also, the eagle sees things from a higher perspective. If you use your intuition today, that will greatly help you fly high to a better vantage point. It's great to have this kind of vision in the middle of a wave spell. I like number seven days personally. It's great to take stock of the journey thus far and assess the situation. From Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Resonant Eagle, Kin, 215, 12, February 2020, 12 to 2020, 3 to 22, equal 3 to 4, equal 9. 12, Acquiring Great Knowledge, Strength, 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 9, Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace. Kin 215 equal 8, Abundance, Infinity, Flow, In-Breath, Out-Breath. An inspirational day of envisioning 
our future success. Day seven in the red moon wave spell of the goddess, who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our greater flow. Today we are feeling the resonance of the bigger picture, attuning to this new flow in order to accomplish it in our new reality. Tone of creation, resonant, tone seven in the emotional realm. Action inspires, power channel, essence attunement. Today we are super sensitive as we are attuned through our senses, the emotional feeling body as we tune in to our grander vision and what it feels and looks like in our reality. We sense the resonance and whether we are aligned with the frequency. So tune in and feel what your body is sensing. Try on each vision. Does it inspire and excite you? In order to accomplish it, you must be attuned to its frequency. At tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment, number 7 is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician giving you the magic to channel the greater vision for your brilliant creations. So what channel are you attuned to today? Full speed ahead, star seeds. It is time to flow with our greatest visions. Today's question is, what is my greatest vision that I wish to accomplish? Tune into the resonance and feel it flow. Divine blessings for finding the flow of your greatest visions today. And Lakek a la kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 215, Blue Resonant Eagle. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to create. Inspiring mind, I seal the output of vision with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And it is time now to celebrate with each other and ourselves our greatest accomplishments up till now. And just know, beloved being of light, that you are doing your best. You are doing great and you are adding to the power and contributing to this great shift that we are all a part of. We are all together as a collective rising up out of the darkest depths of the old false 3D matrix, the construct rising up through the still waters, the divine waters, to blossom and bloom in your beautiful golden light into the heavens as we bridge heaven and earth together here now. So thank you for joining us on this mission, the greatest mission that has ever been activated. Now know also these transmissions I do are transcribed and each transmission in every video I put the link in the description below. So if you'd like to review and go over and these uh, transmissions, they're on our website primedisclosure.com and we have archived hundreds of these transmissions over the last few years they are all archived on primedisclosure.com so you can check those out there so let us know in the comments below beloved beings of light what you are experiencing what you're seeing your visions what you're seeing shining through the veils as they are lifting exposing the true reality that is beyond this dream realm the dream within the dream the dreamer is awakening and realizing our true nature our true selves which is the eternal life the eternal bliss of the cosmic conscious one have a beautiful and blessed day angels of eternity i love you all namaste